Manchester United remain keen on signing the Juventus defender Gleisen Bremer. At the end of the season, a report from Tuttosport claims that Manchester United want to sign the 27-year-old Brazilian defender, and they are prepared to pay around 50 million euros for him. However, the Italian outfit will hold out for a fee in excess of 60 million euros. It will be interesting to see if Manchester United are prepared to pay the asking price for the Brazilian defender. He has established himself as a key player for Juventus in the Italian league, and he has the quality to do well in the Premier League as well. It is no secret that Manchester United need defensive reinforcements. Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans could be on their way out of the club soon and they will have to be replaced adequately. Rafael Verani and Lisandro Martinez are the only reliable defenders at the club right now. Manchester United have looked vulnerable defensively season and they will need to tighten up if they want to get back into the Champions League and push for trophies once again. Signing a reliable performer like Bremer could prove to be a wise decision. The Brazilian will look to test himself at the highest level and a move to Manchester United could be ideal for him. Although the reported asking price seems like a premium, the 27-year-old has the ability and the experience to justify the outlay in the coming seasons. Bremer has already shown his quality in Italy and he will look to test himself in English football if the opportunity presents itself. He has a contract with the Italian club until the summer of 2028 and it is fair to assume that Manchester United will have to break the bank if they want to sign him. Man United, Ratcliffe, wants £129 million duo to lead rebuild, and will carry out an offensive soon. Sir Jim Ratcliffe reportedly wants to sign Frankie de Jong and Alejandro Bald. New Man United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe wants Barcelona duo Frankie de Jong and Alejandro Bald to help lead his rebuild at Old Trafford, according to reports. The British billionaire completed a deal to buy 25% of the Premier League club from the Glazers last month, with Ratcliffe now in charge of the football operation as part of the agreement. Ratcliffe has already brought in Omar Barada as the club's new CEO, while he is trying to persuade Newcastle to agree a compensation fee so that Dan Ashworth can become their new sporting director. Previous reports have also indicated that the new Man United co-owner wants Crystal Palace's Dougie Friedman as their new head of recruitment and Southampton's Jason Wilcox as technical director. Ratcliffe has wasted no time in lining up the staff he wants under him at Man United, and now he's looking to solidify some of his transfer targets too for the summer ahead. The Red Devils have had an underwhelming season under Eric Ten Hag with Man United finishing bottom of their Champions League group and struggling for consistency in the Premier League. That Ratcliffe is set to go after Barcelona duo De Jong and Bald in the summer in an attempt to revive the Red Devils' fortunes. Ratcliffe hopes to rebuild Man United and he wants the Barcelona pair to lead that with De Jong the least surprising target out of the two. Barcelona will consider selling the Netherlands international in an attempt to raise money for summer transfers and Man United will also carry out an offensive soon for Bald, who has been one of the disappointments of the current campaign. The Catalan Giants will ask for more than 150 million euros, 129 million pounds, for the pair from Man United with Bald valued at 60 million euros and De Jong priced at Euro 90 M. Giorgio Scalvini to Man United this summer. Reliable Italian journalist Matteo Moretto has also brought news of Man United interest in Atlanta centre back Giorgio Scalvini. Moretto wrote in his caught offside column, Recently I was informed that in the past few weeks scouts from Manchester United were present in Italy to watch 
Atlanta Central defender Giorgio. Eric Ten Hag suggests Man United sign Monaco midfielder Yusuf Fofana to replace Case Moreau this summer. It is said that Eric Ten Hag, the boss of Manchester United, has asked the club to replace Case Moreau with Yusuf Fofana, a midfielder from Monaco. Man United consider France star as possible Case Moreau transfer replacement. In hint at new sporting director's identity, the Sun the Red Devils are expected to sign a big-name defensive midfielder this summer, and at the same time, a big player could leave at the end of the season. When his loan deal ends, Sofian Amrabat is likely to leave. Case Moreau could follow him out the door if the club wants to cut costs on wages last few weeks. The club was linked with Amadou Onana and Joao Neves. But Fischages says that Ten Hag has asked for Fofana to replace Case Moreau. United isn't the only team after the French player. Other teams interested in the 25-year-old player are Juventus and Paris Saint-Germain. He could be bought for 30 million euros to get away, man. UTD, ready to make transfer offer for £26 million France midfielder as Amrabat and Case Miro continue to struggle, the Sun Man United needs to set bigger goals than Fofana. Fofana has become a good holding midfielder at Monaco this season. He has won 4.7 duels and made 1.7 stops per league game. The Frenchman has won 58% of his take-ons, which is an amazing average of 7.4 recoveries. Fabrizio Romano on X, Excal. Inter approached AS Monaco in the morning to ask for loan deal with by clause for French midfielder Yusuf Fofana Manchester United. Also asked for the same conditions AS Monaco rejected both approaches as they, while there are some good things about him. He has had trouble passing and is only 81% accurate. The man from Strasbourg has been kicked out an amazing 15.1 times per trip. We don't think he's better than Case Moreau because of how he distributes the ball and how well he controls it. But we don't see him as a usual starter. He might be a good team player, Arsenal target. £30 million rated League One star as they consider potential backup plan if Declan Rice deal collapses. Neves from Benfica should be United's first choice if they want to get a star number six. Even though he's only 19, he doesn't have any real flaws and could fetch a nine-figure fee this summer, Manchester United. Looking to sign, Joao Neves plus more transfer rumours. The 19-year-old is one of Europe's hottest prospects and it is thought United are preparing a mammoth bid. For the teenager Benfica star Joao Neves is said to be high up on Man United's transfer wishlist this summer. Manchester United are reportedly readying a bid in the region of £100 million for Benfica starlet Joao. Neves, the 19-year-old, has continued to impress for the Portuguese side this season having already played 42 times in all competitions. The midfielder has been likened to former PSG orchestrator Marco Verratti given his never-ending engine and killer eye for a pass in the middle of the park with Kabi Menu and Case Miro seemingly Eric Ten Hag's go-to pairing as of late. Questions remain over the futures of both Christian Eriksen and Scott McTominay, especially given Ineo's incoming investment that is expected to see plenty of incomings and outgoings later this year. According to The Mirror, Neves is likely to attract high-profile attention from some of Europe's biggest sides this summer, with his name the next from Benfica's impressive production line of Portuguese talents over the last few years elsewhere. Reports from Football Fancast state how United are also likely to delve into the market to improve their squad at left back. Both Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia have spent large parts of the season on the sidelines, and Girona star Miguel Gutierrez is one player continuing to catch the Red Devils' eye.
The 22-year-old defender has been a standout performer for the Spanish outfit so far this term, featuring 32 times in all competitions, chipping in with an impressive six assists during their stunning campaign and subsequent quest for UEFA Champions League qualification.